Welcome back. We are counting down the days until the 2024 Taste of Tippecanoe. Tisha Lee and Lizzie Lewis from TAF are about to join us here in just a minute. This year's Taste is next Saturday, June 15th from 6 p.m. to midnight. All right, again, Tisha Lee and Lizzie Lewis with us now. Hey, guys, how are things going so far with this planning for the Taste this year? Wonderful. Yeah, they're going really, really good. Um, so we are actually coming up on it. It's going to be um, next Saturday, June 15th. Um, and we are looking for volunteers currently. Um, Tisha, do you want to talk a little bit more about that? Sure. Is the, is the need there still for volunteers? Absolutely. Yeah. As you know, the Taste is a huge event and yeah, it yeah. takes a lot of people to help make it happen. So we do have some volunteers already registered, but it takes about 600 folks to make it all happen that day. So anything from earlier than the event starts to the wee hours of the morning when we're cleaning up. So, and there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes, like you said, before mm -hmm. and after, clearly, so. Mm -hmm. So, before the taste, um, we spend all day setting it up, so we're going to need all of those volunteers to help us out with that. And then, come the day of, we have about 32 vendors that are going to be showing up to serve the different, um, all the attendees and everything like that, so. And then a quite a bit of teardown, I'm guessing, mm -hmm. afterwards. Oh my goodness, yes. And throughout the event, we'll, you know, we'll need help maintaining the space so we can return it back to the city in better condition than the way we found it. But we need folks to help with the ticket booths and also the gates, monitor our ice chests, as well as putting up banners and, of course, the cleanup. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and the ticket booths especially, I mean, those are super busy places as well. So, um, uh, and anything else that volunteers could expect to do uh, when, they, when they're when they there? And, and, and why volunteer, would you say? So it's a wonderful way to give back to the community. The Taste is TAF's single largest fundraiser and the largest single fundraising event for the arts in the entire state of Indiana. So it's a big deal. And folks can come, they'll get a t-shirt and they're giving back to the community, making it better for all of us. And they get into the event at no cost. So it's, I think, a win-win for everyone. And again, you know, our community is known for its volunteerism and this is a great way to demonstrate that. Absolutely, it mm -hmm. is. Okay, well, we, we got it coming up again. It's on Saturday here, it starts at six. Anything you guys that comes to mind, you wanna point out maybe that's different this year that uh, people can look out for? Absolutely. So we actually have 32 vendors this year, like I mentioned, but we also have about 15 different musicians across three different stages. Uh, we will also be having Flourish Mobile Art Bus um, doing community activities over in the Family Fun Zone. So we're very excited to have them. Okay, and, and everyone wants to know about the food as well. Any, any particular vendors stick out? I mean, I can always talk about my favorites. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I'm very excited that Alcor is coming back. Yeah, we also have cool. uh, Lux Pancakes. And then do you have some favorites already? So Arnie's is always going to be a favorite, and they've been there the whole time that the taste has been running pretty much. Um, but I am excited for a couple of new ones um, that are going to be serving up um, donuts. So I'm really excited. Rise and Grind Donuts is a new one. Um, they're a food truck, so they're going to be coming in and having some special different flavors. It seems like it just, the momentum, the, the, um, uh, it, it attracts more people, it seems like, every year. Are you expecting record crowds, anything like that? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, and with David's help, we'll have great weather. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, and that's the deciding factor, you know. Mm -hmm. But come out, support the community and our local restaurants. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tisha. Thank you, Lizzie. Hey, great segue there, too. We're going to check in with David. He can't give us the forecast maybe that far out, but we're going to check in with David now for a look at that.